Phoenix doing well to keep it in a tight area, but they'll recycle now. Helped into the area, Zavada! It's such a familiar sight. Oscar Zavada rises high, and in the 11th minute, he takes his tally for the season to seven and puts Wellington into a 1-0 lead. 159th A-League game for Jordan Elsie this afternoon. Come on, Jake, Jake. Good pass to Maragas, who pulls it back. Spilt Barbarousas! An error from Cameron Cook. Costa Barbarousas didn't need a second invitation. The only man who's ever played on this ground twice in the A-League men has doubled Wellington's money. They're 2-0 ahead. Amini looking to find a way back for his side. Katrumbus goes past Maragas. Good from Johnny Katrumbus. Sale pats it away. Katrumbus heads it across and in and in by David Williams. For the second time this season, David Williams scores against his former club. And the two-goal buffer didn't last very long. David Williams makes it 2-1. Jelicic linking up with Williams. And again, Keegan Jelicic across the six-yard box. And almost an own goal from Tim Payne. Swatted away by Ollie Sale. Gee, it's treacherous in these penalty areas. It's a fantastic save from Ollie Sale. You can't have been expecting that one. First of an A-League men's triple header for you today. MacArthur against Western United at Campbelltown after this. Then the Mariners against the Western Sydney Wanderers. Foul on the edge of the penalty area as David Williams went to ground under challenge from Tim Payne. The only thing they can be potentially looking at here is an upgrade, perhaps, of a yellow card to a red if that is the denying of an obvious goal-scoring opportunity. That's the only thing VAR can look at in this situation. With VAR these days, nothing would surprise me. Yep. Upgrade. Oh. The yellow card has been expunged and it will be upgraded to a red card for Tim Payne. Amini with the shot, which just about threatened Oli Sale's goal frame. It was an awkward one for Sale. He's patted it behind eventually for a corner. Right smile from Oli yeah, Sale as Amini's shot drifted quite threateningly. I think it actually hit the hit the top of the bar here. Let's... Ball was an air post and hit it in. They're not going to get the chance to do it because David Williams has come hearing towards the near post and scored his second of the afternoon to draw Perth glory level here in Palmerston North. Of course, here is Jacob Dowse, thought about shooting towards the far post, headed back, and it gets the crossbar. Perth close to taking a 3-2 lead from 2-0 down. Drives it into the six-yard area and off the crossbar again. And wide this time from Zimmerino. Twice, twice the bar was a, a save for the Phoenix.